Hello! Today we are going to look at how to merge duplicate accounts in QuickBooks Online. So sometimes you'll have transactions and they get entered to two accounts that are virtually the same. And uh, it seems like your only choice is to go into the duplicate account go into each transaction and change the account. But the good news is you actually don't have to do that. And merging accounts can be a great way to save time in QuickBooks Online. So let's look at how to do that. First, let's go to the chart of accounts by going to the left-hand side, or you can go to the gear up here and choose chart of accounts. Once you're here, we are going to scroll down. In my case, the accounts that I want to merge are the telephone expenses. You can see I have two accounts here. Both have transactions and to see the transactions that I have. So basically I want to merge the telephone expense and just turn it into telephone. So I will click on run report just to see what's in there. Uh, and I can click on all dates, run report, and I have three transa transactions in here. So as mentioned, rather than going in, clicking on each one, changing the account, I can simply merge it with telephone and all the transactions relating to this account will now appear into the new merged account. So let's go back and I can show you how to do this. It's very, very simple. The one thing that you have to keep in mind is that A, the name of the merged account has to be exactly the same in order for the merge to work. And the category, so the account type and the detail type also have to be identical. So since I'm going to be merging telephone expense with telephone, I am going to change the information here to telephone and to utilities. So let's click here, edit the account. I'll look at the drop down here, find utilities, and then I am going to take out expense and now telephone matches the name of the other account click on save and close, I get a message saying that this might affect an account, uh, accounting and reporting, are you sure you want to do this? And this is important because once you do this, you cannot undo it. So make sure when merging accounts that you are absolutely sure that they are very similar and that the information that has been entered into each account is not specific to that account. So I am very sure, so I will click yes. The name is already being used. Would you like to merge the two? I would indeed, so click on yes again. And now we'll see that we only have one telephone account. If we run our report, you will see that the transactions, which are these three transactions, now appear in this account along with the, all the other transactions that were initially in this account. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this is useful. I think it's a great time saver in QuickBooks Online. If uh, you have any questions or if you have issues with this, uh, don't hesitate to, to leave a comment. Uh, if you want to see more YouTube videos about QuickBooks Online, um, please subscribe and I will see you the next time.